All right, we've got a pretty rare game here. This is a cocktail version of Midway's Tornado Baseball. It is um, not working. About 1976, I think it was late 1976, this came out. This is a dedicated cabinet, as you can see from the custom control panels here. It's even got like, well, that one's not lit, but it's got a little lighting thing to light up the control panel. Really really nicely made cabinets here it says right there tornado baseball coin door is in excellent condition it's got the original coin box it's got the original back door with the original lock and key even and it's got a fan here let's see is the fan going yeah fans going but no protector be careful not to put your finger in it it's complete it's got the boards monitor seems to be working but we're not getting um, let me try power cycling it here. I think the power supply is working too. Let's do that again and see what it shows up here. Yeah. So my guess is monitor working, power supply working, board not working. And I've done nothing. I haven't even, you know what? I haven't even reseated the chips, which is really dumb because that's like the easiest thing to do on one of these midways. Um, let me do that real quick and see if I can get it working. Should I do it with the video going? Why not? If I can get the camera set up somewhere. Let's see. There we go. Let me go grab the right size little screwdriver. I just don't know why it's humming like this. Because when I was cleaning it a couple days ago and plugged it in, it wasn't making this humming noise. I don't know what's changed. Well, I plugged in this fan. Maybe that's maybe that's it. But at any rate, let's. Check this. Okay, that's the CPU is not socketed on this. Only the uh, EPROMs are. I don't think receiving these EPROMs is gonna change what we were seeing there, actually. That doesn't look like the kind of problem caused by the EPROMs. Yeah, and it looks... I know, the board's really dirty. Let's try turning on now and see. stopped it did I no yeah so anyway there's what the board looks like it looks like it got something spilled on it at some point so maybe it needs cleaned it's real dusty it's probably got needs the edge connectors cleaned There's guys out there that work on these 8080 boards. I don't think they're too hard to, to repair. So there you have it. Um, it's a nice, nice, unusual cocktail to have in your... Oh, well, and I didn't mention the broken glass because I just figured everyone watching this is smart enough to notice that, but I will say it verbally here. The glass is broken on top. Um... I don't remember if I broke that or if I got it that way. I've, I've had this for over 30 years. So I just can't remember if I broke it when I bought it or what. And it's got, it does have one little sheet here that tells what the various adjustment knobs do. Um, I'll put it inside. We'll put this back door on the game. Just to show you that it fits nicely and locks and everything. <clears throat> so... Yeah, top glass is broken, and it would be kind of a tricky glass to get remade, but not too hard, because it is at least straight cuts. It's not one of these, like, curved glasses or anything. 
And clearly it's not tempered or it wouldn't have broken in, in a line like that. So it's taped right now just to hold it together. Coin door, I just can't believe how nice that coin door is for what it's worth. Single slot, just like the ones they used on the first um, Galaxian and Pac-Man uh, cocktails, I think, were these little mini one slot. And it's got a nice coin Mac. I mean, look how nice that thing is inside now. It never got broken into. Probably nobody thought there's any money in it. Um, although, you know, Tornado Baseball isn't that bad a game, actually. If you can get it working, it's kind of fun. So, there you go.